as far as nooks and crannies and bumps and valleys go. I can't stop like rubbing myself. Feel like that problem can be solved with pockets. Hey everybody, it's B, and today we have another plus size try on haul slash honest review of Buff Bunny. They just dropped a new collection called the Storm Collection and I got sucked into the Instagram marketing. So I set a reminder in my phone to make sure that the moment that it dropped, I was there because I saw that they had a yellow hoodie. If you know, you know, but if you don't know, my favorite color is yellow and I keep trying to make it work for my complexion, but it often does not. It often makes me look sickly. Went to the website as soon as it dropped and a lot of this stuff was actually already sold out in my size. So I ended up going a little bit ham and <laughs> like feeding into the hype and ordering a lot of stuff. Thus a haul was born. But we're just gonna go through, see what we like, send back what we don't like, and tell you the tea. As a little disclaimer, I bought all of this stuff with my own money. In the past, Buff Bunny has sent me some items, but I've always been pretty honest about their clothing and stuff. I love that they have a wider range of sizes available, and I've liked their quality in the past. I'm not like brand new going into this brand. I just bought a lot of stuff, so I will show you it. <laughs> okay, the theme of this try on haul is Construction. These are the backgrounds that we have. Cool. But I think I might have finally found it. The shade of yellow that does not look terrible on me. And I don't think that this looks bad. Yes, I look like a giant banana right now. It's peanut butter jelly time. Peanut butter. But I don't have to wear all of these pieces together. But I am for the video because they are a set. Side note, this is the most like mad luxurious fabric that I have ever felt. It's like being swaddled by a cloud. I can't stop like rubbing myself. <laughs> mm, so that is a little bit of a con, but it's just so nice. It's super stretchy. Feels like butter and I look like butter. My only gripe with all of the hoodies that I've been buying recently is they're like more cropped. They just hit at your waist, which I guess is more figure flattering. However, sometimes you just wanna be like engulfed in a hoodie. You know what I mean? But, <laughs> fashion, I guess. But overall, I rate this ensemble probably, shoot, I'm gonna give it a nine out of 10 for comfort and for the shade of yellow. Love it for me. And then I also had to get the shorts in this color. Sometimes I don't like workout shorts because the leg part of it is too tight and it cuts off the circulation to my thunder thighs. But these are super comfy. The only thing is like light colors tend to show more of the bits that you don't wanna show. I definitely could work out in them. I would probably just wear like a baggy t-shirt and not a cropped hoodie, but it's a set and we're serving rubber ducky realness. Oh, I'm in love with this fabric. Okay, this is the next set. I'm not super in love with the pattern and how it looks on me. I guess it's not like so bad, but it's just a little busy for my taste. I'm not like super matchy matchy. I do really wish like there was pockets thrown in these hoes. The fabric again is wonderful, love it. The sports bra, which is super strappy and beautiful. However, it feels like it wants to like come off my shoulders. You know what I mean? Like I wish there was just like an extra strap or something across here. But I digress, I'm kind of on the fence about this one, whether or not I will keep it or I will send it back. I am obsessed with this orange sports bra. I love how it's a little bit more of a high neck line and what do they call those? Like halter, like racer back kind of? The straps connect. Oh yeah, I guess racer back. It's strappy and a little bit saucy. And the color is very nostalgic for me. It's very Nickelodeon. It's very Debbie Thornberry. Like all I need is a green flannel and I'd be living my cool older sister grunge 90s era fantasy, you know what I mean? And these shorts are just everything. I'm pretty sure they are the same style as the yellow ones. They're definitely the same length. They're just in black. So it hides all those little bits and crannies. These shorts you can't really pick up on camera, but they are kind of like a velvet olive color. And for some reason, shorts in this style, every single time you get like a plus size version, it's just not as cute. Like it's just more like loose at the legs and it doesn't, I don't know. They're okay. I don't know if I'll keep them. Actually, I'm like looking at myself in the mirror right now and these really aren't bad. This drawstring does absolutely nothing. <laughs> it's so stretchy. <laughs> you know what, the more I move around in them, the more I'm like, these are kind of cute. Whatever. Ugh. You got me. <laughs> I 
I am in love with this sports bra. I love the cut of it. It's kind of highlighting the shoulders and like forcing more of an hourglass shape. You know what I mean? It's like whoop, whoop. The color is everything. I actually want it in every single color. The back is super strappy, super cute. The leggings, again, the fabric is awesome. They have this like satin strap detail. It's just for aesthetics, so at least it gives me something to loop my thumbs in. But why didn't they make this a pocket? It's so close, it's so close. Just add pockets. But at least my hands, what are like searching for pockets all the time, at least they have something. I don't know, do you like strap a water bottle in there? Or is this just purely for design purposes? Here's the next thing. We have this like long sleeve crop thing. I always see these and I always want them to work. And I think that this one does. It's kind of giving Kim Possible. All I need is like all of cargo pants and then we're there and red hair and parkour skills. It has this like little metal carabiner thing on the sleeve that has a hair tie attached to it. I don't love that because feel like that problem can be solved with pockets. It's just odd that they would come up with this, which I have never seen before. Just like an extra little swatch of fabric would do the same thing and you could put more stuff in it. I'm just putting it out there into the either, but I absolutely love this top. The shorts are the same as we've been trying on, except for it's a little bit of a longer length. Love that for my thighs, which rub together. These are like legging slash jogger hybrid things. They have the material of leggings. They have the scrunch portion in the front like joggers, pockets like joggers, they zip. It stops halfway through and then turns to like regular legging backs. Very form fitting, but then it has the cuff at the ankle like a jogger. They're pretty cool. I was excited about these. I bought them in two different colors, this heather gray and kind of a tan oatmeal color. They're not the most flattering cut on me because I do have a belly. I feel like in black these would be absolutely perfect. The gray isn't bad. I think I'll keep the gray. I think I'll return the oatmeal color. This set is in a blue and it has like this, this like kind of TV static black graphic overlaid on top of the blue or it's a blue static overlaid on top of black. Could go either way. Anyways, again, this is the same kind of back as the other sports bra, like the Monarch. Um, super strappy, super cute, but it's gonna annoy the hell out of me, I know, because it's gonna feel like it's gonna fall off my shoulders every five seconds. Even though it's not falling off, it just feels, I don't know. But the leggings are cute. I just don't think that I'm in love with like the static kind of vibe. And I think that I am and I keep trying to force it, but I'm just not. I don't know, I'm definitely not gonna keep the top and I don't think about the leggings. These are the Storm leggings. They have like this really awesome like mesh detail that goes literally all the way down from your hip to your ankle. And it just kind of like spirals around the leg. The only thing is like, it's kind of a window to my chub. Like you see like where my roll begins, <laughs> but super saucy. They have like this shiny, almost like wet looking material at the bottom and then like at the hips, which fits the Storm theme, but is kind of giving like cat suit superhero or villain. And guess what? Check out this pocket. She goes all the way to the knee. I actually got these in two colors. At first the black was sold out. So I was like, ah, okay, well I really like that mesh detail. So I'll get it in the mist color, which is light. And I was like, mm, I don't know. Don't know if I'm gonna love that. But then I got a notification that these were back in stock. So I hurried real fast and snatched them up and made a separate order. But I'm glad that I did, because these are pretty cool. Here's the mist color. It's way easier to see like the detail on these, but it's also easier to see everything else. As far as nooks and crannies and bumps and valleys go. So I'm going to be returning these, but I will keep it in black because this is a lot. I definitely liked a lot more of the pieces than I thought I would, and I ended up keeping a lot more than I thought I would. But yeah, I really like this brand. I think they're great. Uh, my only criticisms are just like little nitpicky things. The only reason I'm sending some of the stuff back was just me not liking the color on me or I mean, the pattern, but the fabric's really nice. The quality's nice, the stitching. The cut of some of the sports bras I didn't, I wasn't super fond of, but they were still super cute. But yeah, I ended up keeping way more items than I initially thought that I would. I'm only gonna be sending back like six pieces. So we're gonna cool it on the try on hauls for a bit. But if you have suggestions on athletic wear or plus size clothing stuff that you would like me to try, I will be down in the future. We just need to like cool it for a bit. <laughs> you know what I mean? Cause 
is uh, went a little crazy. But anyways, guys, I just want to thank you so much for watching. If you want to subscribe and hit that notification bell, all that stuff really helps out the channel. But other than that, I just hope you're having a wonderful day, and I will see you on the next one. Bye!